Good morning and happy Tuesday. It's 616 on this frosty morning across the Northland as folks are waking up to some frost, of course, but taking a wider look at the Doppler and satellite, the amount of watches, warnings, advisories, etc. that fill the entire West Coast is just uh, insane, in my opinion, because we've got the wildfires affecting almost 90% of California in those warnings, as well as heat warnings, wind advisories, air quality alerts, and then Denver, Colorado, seeing not only the heat, but also seeing the fires and then seeing snow coming in this afternoon. Now, drastic changes are being felt across much of the West Coast. And here in the Northland, the biggest change we're seeing is just the air temperatures. So we are in that frost advisory till about 8 o'clock this morning. And then that freeze watch, so the light blue counties that you see here on the map, looking at that freeze watch that goes into effect tonight at midnight, going until 8 o'clock Wednesday morning. Temperatures as low as 28 degrees expected in spots along the northern Minnesota. Taking a look at the national temperatures, you can see clearly where that cold front really kind of dips down, not only affecting us here, but going all the way down to almost Santa Fe, dropping those temperatures all the way into the 30s for a good chunk of North America here. As we continue through the week, uh, temperatures are going to remain on the cooler side. We'll see mostly cloudy skies with this high pressure bringing in this northerly wind. So temperatures are going to be chilly. We're not going to see the much of a windier conditions today, but still on the cold side. And then Wednesday morning is our coldest morning that we're going to be seeing here in the forecast. Temperatures likely in those low 30s and expecting that first freeze for folks along the border. We've got a low pressure to our south that's going to continue to slide north and east but not really affect us here in the Northland. And then some good news. High pressure comes in, a southwesterly flow moves in, bringing that temperatures back up to near average. We'll see a high near 64 degrees on Thursday. Time enough for you here. The main thing today we're going to see is mostly cloudy skies, much calmer winds, and a few sprinkles could be uh, uh, seen across the region just from that cold air coming in from the north. Otherwise, we'll see skies starting to decrease in terms of uh, cloud cover by the overnight hours into Wednesday morning. This is where we're expecting that first freeze for folks in those areas. Almost no wind, and of course, we're going to see clear skies. Now, clouds will quickly increase Wednesday afternoon from our south again. A few showers are possible in northern Wisconsin, but for Minnesota uh, areas, we should remain on the dry side just for how strong that cold air is kind of being pushed nor uh, south. Today, 54 up on the hill, 55 down here by the lake. We'll see a mixture of sunshine and clouds to start the day, but mostly cloudy skies will take over by the afternoon hours. 55 in Ashland, 55 in Washburn. Then tonight, temperatures get much colder, especially in northern Wisconsin. We'll see that chance for frost and cross much of the region. And then a first freeze is likely for folks along the international border. So it's another reminder to just bring in those plants, cover the gardens, because I know a lot of people do garden around the region. And although it's not going to stay cold for too long, so if you cover them, Come next week, you'll still be able to kind of preserve them. Yeah, a try bit and bring them back to life a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's just it's, keep that in mind. This time of year, it feels like we get a little bit of a mix of everything. So it's going to be nice when we head into that Thursday, Friday yes, stretch <laughs> where it seems more consistent. Uh, yeah, and where we should be because we already know we see, yes. uh, we feel like winter kind of hangs around here much too long. Oh, yeah. And so <laughs> to see that we come back to the 60s is a little bit of a optimistic that look. That good. <laughs> yes, and even just having a little bit of rain, like we said earlier, that's exactly what we need, yeah. especially for those plants that we're trying to take care of for the <laughs> yeah. next couple days. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. You bet.